Hello Astro Family, I'm Mrs. Benita and I teach kindergarten at Sabina Elementary. Today I'm going to do a lesson on sentence structure. This is when we're beginning to write sentences and so we need to think about what are some of the rules in a good sentence. One rule is a sentence always has to start with a capital letter. So the first word of the sentence must start with a capital letter. Then a good writer knows that they need to have spaces between their words. So not a big gap but a space so we know that the first word has stopped and the next word has started. And another rule is a sentence always has to end in punctuation, either a period, a question mark, or an exclamation point. That way the reader knows this sentence is over and the next sentence is beginning. So let's begin. Let's look at the sentence that I have up here. And it says, cat the rug on is the. That doesn't make sense. But I know I can remember some of my rules when I'm putting a sentence together. And the first rule was, the sentence always has to begin with a capital letter. So as I look through my words, I see that this word, the, has a capital T. So I know that it is starting my sentence. So I have the. Hmm. I know my next rule that I remember I talked about is that it has to end in some kind of punctuation. And I see that the word rug has a period after it. So I know that this is going to be the last word of my sentence. Some other things about a sentence is it has to have some kind of subject, and a subject is a noun or a pronoun. So a, a noun is a person, place, or a thing. So as I look through the rest of my words, cat the on is, well, I know that a cat is an animal. So that is going to be the subject of my sentence. So the cat, so what about the cat and this rug? The cat, did I say is? Where is the cat? On the rug. Now let's reread our sentence and make sure it does make sense. The cat is on the rug. That makes sense, what a great sentence. Well, let's move on to another one. So let's read it as it's written now. Dog to run my likes. Well, let's look through our words. Which one starts with a capital letter? The word my. So we're talking about my, something I have. Then when I look at the rest of my words, I see that the word run has a period after it. So I know, excuse me, that's going to be the last word of my sentence. So which of the words that are left could be the subject of my sentence? Well, the word dog is a noun. So let's talk about my dog. My dog, what does my dog and run? Hmm, my dog likes to run. Let's reread our sentence and see if it makes sense. My dog likes to run. Great sentence. I have a couple more for us to do. So my next sentence that I have up here says, in the play can lot we. Hmm, what do you think we should do first? That's right, let's look for the word that has the capital letter in it. So as I look through them, I can see the word can has a capital letter. So I know this is going to be the first word of my sentence. Let's look at the rest of the words and see if we can think of another clue. Hmm. I don't see a period after any of the words. But one of the words has a question mark after it, and I know a question mark is another form of punctuation. So the word lot is going to have to be the last word of my sentence. So let's look at the rest of the words that are left over. In the play we. Well, the word we is a pronoun, which can take the place of a noun in a sentence. So can we, hmm, what are we going to do in the lot? Can we play? Oops. Can we play in technical difficulties? <laughs> the lot. Now, 
how am I going to say this sentence? Because it has a question mark. So my voice needs to be able to kind of go up at the end of the sentence so I know that I'm reading a question. So let's reread the sentence. Can we play in the lot? Great. That's a question that now we have written. Okay, let's do the last one. Is hot it here in? Hmm. We need to find the word that's a capital, and it's the word it. Huh. Let's look at the rest of the words. What word do I think is going to be at the end? Because I don't see a period, and I don't see a question mark. Do you see the exclamation point after the word here? So that's going to be the last word of our sentence. So, it, hmm, is, it is, what is it? It is hot in here. So let's reread it because my voice has to show some excitement because I'm using an exclamation point. It is hot in here. Great job. So I have a couple challenges. For some of my friends who are a little bit better writers, I would like for you to add some adjectives to some of these sentences. What can you tell about the cat in the first sentence or the dog in the second sentence? And can we play in the lot? What are we going to play in the lot? Can we play kickball in the lot? So you can add some stuff to kind of juice up some of the sentences. It is hot in here. Why is it hot in here? Or what is it about you that makes it hot in here? And then maybe some of you can even use one of these sentences as a starter to a story and tell about something about a story about some of the things or some of the nouns and stuff that are in our story, in our sentences. I have one more challenge for my class. I would like for you to count how many sight words are in all four of these sentences. Total them up and either email me or send me a message on our Facebook group page. Let me know how many you think you've come up with. So, some sentence starters, and if some of you have a story to share that you would like to share with me, I would love to read it. So you can find my email on our website and just email me your notes or your letter or your sentence that you've come up with. I would love to read them. So, have a great day and go Astros!